Hey everybody, how you doing today? Welcome to the channel. I'm Craig, and you're on Air Pop Control. Today we have a couple of Macari pickups uh, from my personal collection, and uh, we've got a box from Funko Collect, an Instagram user, and I will get to that in just a minute after this. <laughs> Alright, I am back, and uh, as always on this channel, we say hi to our post office folks here in town. We say hi to all the grandkids. And as always, if you would please, hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't done it before. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and please hit that bell notification. We'll let you know next time a new video comes out. Alright, today, first off, let's get to the Macari pickups. This is just a quick little couple pickups I had. I uh, just wanted to show you guys. This is a... Uh, for my rock collection up there, I've, I've got about, oh, seven or eight, maybe close to ten pops I've gotten recently in boxes and a couple of Macari pickups of my own to go up there, but I hesitate to move everything until I get enough because it's a big job moving all these pops all over the place. So uh, this is the first one. It's Devo, Whip It. Uh, this is a, back in, I think, 80s, whatever. You know, it was a, not exactly my style of music. I'm a little older than this stuff, but... Uh, it was good stuff, good music. Led, I guess, to a lot of interesting things that they have nowadays. Then I got the second one for that collection, the uh, Satisfaction one. Everybody's heard those songs, Satisfaction and Whip It, I'm sure, probably. But anyhow, those are both going into my rock collection. They'll go up there, along with uh, about the other eight or so that I picked up recently. And I will be picking up some more. I'm just trying to fill that collection in a little bit. All right, so what? Well, let's get to the box here. And uh, first off, I ordered three of these boxes from this person, and I've got all three of them here. Uh, I just, I ordered one, and then I went back later, and, and uh, he had some left, and I picked up two more. Um, this box is a, first off, it's from Funko Collect 123 an Instagram user, if you go to it, it's Funko underscore Collect123. Uh, this box is limited to 20 boxes. I have three of them here. Each box will cost $55 plus $10 shipping, so $65 per box. Guaranteed value is 45 so we can lose money on each box. We will combine shipping if you get more than one box. Okay, I bought three, but I only bought two, one at first, and then I went back and bought another two, and he did combine those two. They came in a large box. I opened it up, and I have the smaller boxes out. I knew they were sealed up already in the boxes. Um, all prices are from 7 to 8 on PPG, and they can uh, change daily, which they do. I'm sorry, all pockets are from 7 8. That's July 8th. And PPG can change daily. Top hits on this box are the Blacklight Ghost Rider and another variant of a Ghost Rider. Okay, most pops are 8 to 10 in the condition, uh, some will have minor flaws. Uh, there are no dupl duplicate pops in here, which is good. I may have a duplicate or two around here, but who knows. What I like about this, what he did was he put the odds down. Here's a rundown of the odds. Ten of these boxes are going to be valued between 45 and 54. That means half of these boxes you're going to lose money. Only 20 bucks run. Ten of them you're going to lose money. It could be a dollar, it could be ten dollars, but you're going to lose money. And that's okay. And you're not, you can't count shipping, so that's out of it. Okay, five of the boxes will be 55 to 64. So you're going to get a little money, which will probably pay for your shipping. <laughs> so basically, 15 of the boxes are not going to get anything. Okay, three of the boxes are going to be $65 plus in value. Two of the boxes will have the grail, one, and have a value of 100 for one and 175 for another. So that's not bad. And it's a 1 in 20 chance. It's not a bad, bad odds game if you want to play it that way. Uh, I've got three boxes. I have a decent chance of hopefully getting my money back at the very least. We'll see. You know, and if I lose, well, the worst I can lose is thirty bucks on the three boxes. All right, so I lose thirty bucks. Don't do this if you can't afford to lose the money, folks, because you will lose money sometimes. All right, we're gonna go ahead and open this one up. Uh, this is number. I pick number nine. I picked uh, number nine. Here's the other ones. Number five and number sixteen. We'll start with number nine. For no good reason, just on the counter. This is the one that came shipped singly by itself. Ok, 
Okay, let's see packing. Okay, there's packing peanuts in here. So let me see. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. Oh, glam shot. He didn't. He had no glam shots on this. I'm sorry. I should have put up some, but all it had was the picture of the black light, uh, the Ghost Rider. So there was really no glam shot, so to speak. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, let's see. I might have to do two boxes because there's only one pop in here. And I don't remember, did it say anything on there on how many pops per box? One to four pops per box. This isn't a pop, this is a bigger pop. I have no idea what it is. It's like a ride or something. But I, don't, I didn't have colors like a black light, so I don't think it's that. It's a bigger pop. I may have to open up another one. <laughs> Get one. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Okay, I take that back. It is... So it's all wrapped into a big plastic bag. I couldn't see in there except for one side of it. And it looked like one pop. It is. It, it looks like a, from the bottom. I can show you the bottom. This is what it looked like. I just saw this part of it here. And it looked like one big ride or something. But it's actually two, or two pack and then two singles. Okay. Well, cool. All right. Glad I opened it up that way. There's not a lot of bubbles. I mean, not a lot of uh, peanuts in there, so... Uh, a few. He must have got those from, uh, oh, who is it? Toy USA that does it all the time. All right, I don't know which one. None of these are protectors, so I'm just going to pick whatever. I'm going to go with the four inch, I guess, first. I, I still I can't see them at all, so. Ready? One, two, three. Candyland player piece. I have never seen that. It's a retro toy. I, I've obviously played the game Candyland. My kids have played it. Grandkids have played it, I'm sure. Box condition. Okay, you got a little corner damage right here. You can see that. Right there. Other than that, I don't see anything. And that's on the bottom. I'm not really concerned about that. Box was good other than that, so I, man, I couldn't tell you the price of uh, the. I, it's it's kind of a plain cookie cutter. It looks like a cookie cutter. It does. It's a can It looks like a player piece, I guess, on the Candyland game. It's been a long time since I played Candyland. Not very exciting. Huh. I didn't know they made pops of player pieces. Okay, something new. Learn something new every day. I'm going to go to the next 4-inch pop. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Clue. Another retro toy. Mr. Green. With lead pipe. I honestly didn't know they made these type of pops. Uh, clue, these game pops. I mean, well, I guess I should have known. I mean, I've got all my games over here. I've moved everything around. If you haven't noticed, folks, things have been getting moved around in here. I'm trying to redo the whole office. Too many pops. Okay, this is one. The box looks great. Again, a retro toy clue. I, I mean, I have no idea the value of these. He's pretty cool looking though. He's got this little uh, rose or a flower in his lapel. It's kind of neat looking. All right. Well, I have no idea the value of those. Not even the slightest. Okay, so we'll go to the two pack. I don't know. You can see down here on. <laughs> I got all my two pack. Some of them. I got a lot more than that, but. So I'm sitting down there because I don't know what to do with them. Hey, one, two, three. Oops. We got PlayStation God of War. GameStop exclusive, official licensed product. Brock and Sindri. I don't play games. I don't. I had never played a PlayStation. I don't know anything about them. I mean, I, I had a Wii or something back when my kids were young. But uh, or grandkids were young, I should say. There you go. That's a uh, box condition on this one. For a two pack, I mean, they normally get dinged up pretty good. This one, I don't see any damage at all on it. So I'd say this is pretty good condition on this one. I, I, these are all three games. I have no clue of the value. I'm, I'll be right back. Let me see if I can figure it out. <laughs> all right, folks, I got the uh, prices for you. We'll go ahead and. Uh, uh, start with let's see here Candyland player piece. I had no idea they even made these. This is kind of funny. I didn't check the date out I don't see a date on this one 
It's got to be a fairly new pop because I've never seen it before. Oh, it's 2020, it says. Yeah, 2020. Caneland player piece is $11. $11. Would have never known. <laughs> okay, and the next one is the clue. And both of these are retro toys. Uh, Mr. Green with the uh, lead pipe. I bet they could make a lot of these with the mis mus uh, mustard in the office with the whatever. <laughs> I mean, all kinds of weird ones they could come up with. Mr. Green is running $12. All right, and the big hit in the box, which is kind of surprised me, is this uh, Brock and Sindri. Now, again, I've never played this game, so I have no idea. The other two were retro toys. This is a game. Uh, this is from GameStop exclusive, GameStop only. It's an official licensed product. And this one is going for $46. Believe it or not, $46. That's not too bad. I bought recently bought some uh, two-pack protectors uh, from uh, uh, Vaulted Vinyl. Or whatever, yeah, Vaulted Vinyl. And uh, so I, I put, some, put this in a protector because it's worth it. All right. Well, so uh, I paid... Uh, what was it? Fifty-five dollars plus uh, ten dollars shipping, so sixty-five dollars. Uh, I came out with a total of sixty-nine dollars on out of this box. Made my money back, and that, that included shipping. And it, you know, beat our value, the guaranteed value of forty-five. I think we did pretty well. We got one of the uh, on the upper side <laughs> of half of the boxes. Didn't make a bunch of money on it, but it made a few bucks. That's okay. Still have two more boxes to do. Um, we'll do those that, you know, I, I, they'll come in sporadically. I, uh, hopefully I'll have a couple other things to add with them, maybe some more pickups or something, but uh, we'll get them out of here shortly. You'll see them all. All right, that was it, and uh, I'll have all uh, Funko uh, collects li or info down below, um, his Instagram info, and he does, he has put up quite a few boxes. I think he has another one out right now. Uh, he sent me a message, and I did not get into that because the top prize for, was a, uh, oh, it was a, some kind of a vehicle or something, a Jeep or something for, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of the movie now, but uh, Indiana Jones, that was it. It was an Indiana Jones, it was a ride or something, and I really didn't care about that top prize, so I did not get into that one, uh, but he's... Always been very good. Packs well, as you can see with this one. It was packed well. No problems at all. And uh, made her money back. And even if you lose 10 bucks on something like this, it's worth it to hit a Blacklight uh, Ghost Rider. All right. Well, that's all I got, folks. We'll see you all later. Take care. Bye.